The very first step is to create the Spring Boot project. To do this, launch the STS, the Spring Toolsuit IDE. Select a workspace. For me, it is under Documents Spring Data Rest. This is the folder where all our projects will be saved. Click on Launch. And that will take us to our workspace within the IDE. Once in there, to create a Spring Data Rest project, go to the File menu, say New. Select Spring Starter Project, the easiest way to create a Spring Boot project. Service URL is fine. This is the website that it will use to generate our project. The name, let's call it employee-api. Since we are exposing out the API to access our employee domain or the employee table, we are calling it employee-api. The group is com dot Bharat dot spring data rest. It's a unique group for all my projects. The artifact ID automatically reflects whatever we have typed here. You can leave the rest of them as it is. Click next. This is the screen where you can select all the dependencies for your project. In our case, we are going to use, you can search for them here under available. Search for rest repositories and select this very first one, REST Repositories. We'll uh, use this REST Repositories HAL browser later on, but for now we don't need it. We have selected that. Search for JPA and select JPA because we are going to use JPA in our project. And last but not the least, the database we are using is MySQL. So search for that and select that. That will add the MySQL driver jar dependency to our maven pom so we have three dependencies jpa mysql the driver and then rest repositories because we are going to use spring data rest finish and we should have the project employee hyphen api expanded the important file here is of course the pom.xml open it Click on the last tab which says pom.xml, maximize, you can see the project artifact information here, whatever you have entered. The parent for all the Spring Boot project comes from Spring, which is Spring Boot starter parent. Scroll down and you will see the dependencies which we have added starting from Spring Boot starter data JPA, Spring Boot starter data rest. MySQL connector, which is the JDBC driver, and also by default, it adds the test support. So if you want to create unit tests or integration tests for your Spring application, you can use the classes from this particular dependency. Go to the source folder, you will have a couple of classes there. One which is the starting point of our Spring Boot application, employee API application, it is marked with at Spring Boot application. Go to resources. We have the application properties, which is empty right now. You will be configuring your data source right here in a few lectures. Under the source test Java, we have our second class, which is employee API application tests, which can be used to test our application. So in this lecture, you have successfully finished the first step, which is to create a Spring Boot project, which is a Spring Data REST application.